You scared of me? Guess I was pressed the doorbell, bing, ding dong. Wonder who it was coming to talk to me, da 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 da. Because we didn't do anything. Spent some time with Bioka. Yeah, give him a prezzy. Right, coffee we've run out of. Rose tea for him is a B. Right, that's good enough. We'll give him tea. Fine, I'll take it. I hope you appreciate this. Again, pressing that he liked it. That's good. So, in other words, so just to be clear, being the many talents, some people think I rely on can't protect you in the Garmin name. Huh? Is this a monologue or something? But I don't rely on my family, rather, I am my family's savior. The Tagami Corporation reaches across the world, true, but I will take us to even greater heights. It is expected of me, naturally, after all, even my own family has recognized my ultimate superiority. In other words, even among the Tagami family, I am the chosen. Um, I am among the chosen. So much confidence. And that confidence is justified, I assure you. It comes from the battles I fought and won. Battles? I am personally worth over four billion dollars separated from the Takami family assets. How the heck did you make that much money? The stock market. I buy and sell shares and assets based on market trends all within a single day. Even surely even someone as simple of mind as you heard of this technique. So you buy and sell stuff on the stock market doing everything in a single day. I think that's called truck Day trading man. Trading cards, yeah, sure. I'm talking about day trading, right? And you were able to make four billion dollars doing all that? Well, first I started doing it to keep myself occupied, and before I knew it, there it was. It's not really a big deal. I'd say it's a super big deal. Wait, but are high school is even allowed to buy stocks and stuff? I'm Bianca Tagami. Is that meant to be an explanation? Four billion dollars, nothing to the um, Tagami corporation, but for personal use, it's not bad. So now you understand, right? I'm not merely a child of modern day nobility. You know, Bianca, maybe we should start calling you the ultimate, d ultimate day trader. Oh, I don't do that anymore. It was too simple, so I got bored of it pretty quickly. Jeez, you really are how insulting that sounds to the rest of us? Of course, that's how I feel about anything I do. Frankly, life is too easy. So it's natural for me to do whatever I want in this world. Man, it really is confident. We're like worlds apart. Galaxies apart. Still reading from Bianca's story, I went back to my room. And it was night time. So I'm looking at um, Kiyoko's like, list. And there's like very few that she actually doesn't like. Huh? There's something by the door. This piece of paper. It looks like someone must have slipped it under my door. Meet in the dining hall. Handwriting is really good. But to want to meet up so suddenly. Who wrote it and why? What's the point in calling me out like this? I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I, can, I can't check it out now. Oh, Makoto! Hero, then a letter I found in my room. Yep, I wrote, I wrote it. Your handwriting is really nice. Wow, well, that was always taught that if you had bad penmanship, it goes with a common haunt here. Who taught you that? And why did you want me? Who taught you that? And why did you want to meet with me? Oh, I did just what Kyoko asked me. Actually, Kyoko. I'm just an errand boy on this. Anyway, what do you say to a late night bath session? You know? Huh? Okay, let's do it. No, no, I... I was totally lost. Hero grabbed me by the shoulder, pulled me close, and whispered into my ear. It's all an act, so the mastermind will notice. Everyone's waiting in the bathhouse. What? Did Loto Ego finish his search? You got it, Hero. Let's go take a dip together. It's probably louder than I need it to be. But me and Hero hurry to the dressing room.
As soon as I go to the dressing room, an angry voice I could. Hey, you! How long are you gonna keep us waiting? Were you gonna keep us waiting? Tucker's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. It's almost 10 o'clock, you know that bedtime for all the good little boys and girls. Just shut up. What'd you say? You want me to make you cry, little girl? Tucker, he seems to be even worse off than I'd heard. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally started growing a personality. What? You got a lot of poop falling out of that mouth of yours. You know what? What the heck? How rude. A man like you has no right to speak that way to our heaven saint master. Huh? Are you back to your normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. Sh shut up. Hey, come on. Well, anyway, everyone's here, right? And my messenger hey. duty is complete. You're one of the sort of media, right, Kyoko? So what are we doing here? Isn't it obvious? It's gotta have something to do with both the ego, right? Yeah, totally. Did he finally fin? Did he finally find a clue? What is it? A way out? The mastermind's true identity? It's gone. Gone? I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's when I discovered. Alter Ego, the laptop, has disappeared. What? No You're kidding, right? Oh, um... Huh. What? She's done? You can't be fucking serious! What did you do? What'd you do with him? Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we were up to? I told Alter Ego to get out of it. And when he didn't recognize, appeared. If it wasn't the mastermind, I'm sure he would have out... Alerted us. Maybe we just missed it. I was in the laundry room right next door all day. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. But, 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 if it wasn't a mastermind, then if he wasn't this particular mystery, it's obvious. It should only have been him. Mr. Ishimaru, you saw her, didn't you? What? I'm the ultimate moral compass. I would never do something like that. I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. You're the suspicious one here. You're nothing but a big, jiggling sack of fat. So do you know you should not see my true form? I still have three more transformation gifts. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, wait, I mean, it, it wasn't me. I, everyone knows you're your thief. Wrong, it's you. Well, I'm sure it was one of you. So whoever did it, just hurry up and confess. No, there's no way either of them did it. Huh? Why not? I told her to ego to yell if either Tucker or Fumi came into the dressing room. W what? It was a countermeasure against a clear danger that one of them might come for it. But they never heard any yell. Exactly, which means it wasn't them. Then who was it? The fundamental circumstances were coming clear. If it wasn't a mastermind, if it wasn't Tucker or Fumi, and quite simply, it was someone else. Makoto, Celeste, Sakura, Hina, Toko, or myself. One of us must be the thief. Why would any of us? Us? Why would any of us? Wanna steal Alter Ego? How about this for a reason? There's a traitor among us. Huh? One of us is working for the mastermind, a spy. And that's the one who stole Alter Ego. Can you deny the possibility? It, it can't be. I've actually been thinking for some time now that there might be a spy among us. The mastermind brought someone in to help keep things moving smoothly. A spy for the mastermind? A spy for the mastermind? A traitor? No, it's impossible. Something that horrible? Th there's no way. Why do you not speak? You sudden suddenly by your inability to comprehend such a possibility. <laughs> I don't care! It's like... I don't care who... Someone. Anyone. Save her. Please, rescue her. I'm begging you. I just want to see her smiling face again. Same here. How many times do I... They have to kill bro before they help... I'll beg. I'll scream my head across the ground. Just please. Yeah, they're so, back. Um, this is pretty messed up. But still, I think I kind of get how sad the they feel. Least. 
I think Alter Ego is most likely still safe for the yes, moment at least. Indeed. If they wanted to destroy it, they would have taken they wouldn't have taken it, they would have I done see. it right here. You're saying whoever did it has something else in mind for him. Something else? It doesn't matter. Nothing else matters. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna get him back, guys, my promise as a man! Using the power of love. It's night time. <clears throat> As soon the door. Okay then. Hmm. There it's is night time. To be done. It is unfortunate, but we will have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone get some sleep. How can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around. What good are you if you are too tired? You will be much more effective after a good night's sleep. Who gives a crap about infective? We're talking about our feelings here. Anything we do at night brings a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Makoto? I agree with you. If you run around tonight in a panic, the mastermind is sure to notice, and we won't get anything done. Taka, Hifumi, I know how you feel right now, but... It's best if, just for tonight, you can try to endure it. This is fine. Okay then, let us pad for today. We will begin our search for Auto Ego in the morning. And you should think about and you should think about what I said. Someone may very well be spying for the mastermind. Alter Ego, gone as quickly as he appeared. We'd finally discovered a small measure of hope, but even that was taken away from us, and we couldn't even put up a fight. We were given hope, and when, then when that hope was taken away, despair. It's just like, just like what a mastermind is doing to us. Then, could it really be true? Whoever stole Alter Ego, could they really be working for the mastermind? If that's true... No, it can't be! There's no way! I didn't even realise I'd yelled out that loud. Scary thing is, isn't the idea of someone spying on us? It's really scary is the idea that we're starting to doubt each other again. That scares me more than anything. Damn it! I threw myself into bed trying to shake off all these unsettling thoughts. For long, I fell into a restless sleep. Murder is a word! Whose definition changes with time, with place, with society. If murder is evidence of abnormality, then all of history's greatest heroes must have been abnormal. The murders that people forgive are way more abnormal than the ones they don't. So that's about murder, so someone's Good gonna die today. Idiot. Yep. Today we have to look for Alter Ego. Okay, first things first, to the dining hall. I found myself in surprisingly high spirits and hurried to the dining hall. When I found what was waiting for me, they're waiting for me. <coughs> Is this it? What happened to the others? Aren't they coming? There was only three people in the dining hall. Sakura, you know, Oko, Yoko. So including me, only four people? God, this is why I hate people who take their sweet time with everything. Anyway, let's wait a while longer for the others. So we decided to wait, in case anyone sh else showed up. But no matter how long we waited, um. so it's eight o'clock. We've been waiting here for a full hour. Why have the others come? Hero and Celeste have never missed a day until now. And what I'm really worried about is Fumi and Taka. They were more eager than anyone to look for Alter Ego, and they're not here. Something must have happened. Huh? I was careless. I got. I was too distracted by Alter Ego, but Monokuma gave us a motive. There was no way something would happen. There was some. 
There was an, uh, fucking hell. <laughs> I was distracted by alter ego, but Monokuma gave us a motive. There was no way something wouldn't happen eventually. Monokuma's no motive. <clears throat> ka ching ka -ching! Prepare this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. What do you think? It's ten million bucks. Ten million smackaroos. It's like totally wow, wow, wow. Am I right? Don't tell me someone did something for money. I mean, maybe prostitution, but not murder. That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't bother. I already understood. I understood and I hate that I did. You can never really know another person completely. Anything can happen here, and you can't consider it strange. Hey. Not really. We need to go look for the people who never showed up. Uh, okay, let's track them down. Without another word, we left the dining hall. Hey. We can cover more ground if we split up. Sakura, you go check the dorms. Make sure check all of our rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. Okay. Meanwhile, I'll check the second. Okay then, anyway. I guess I'll check the third floor. Don't take any risks. If anything happens, oh. call for help right away. I really hope nothing happens. So do I. Okay, let's go. Anxiety was written across our faces as we went our separate ways. Without hesitation, without hesitating, I rushed to the first floor of the school. Okay, I need to look around the first floor. Right, let's go following the right wall. And we'll try and get any Monokuma coins along the way. Fuck here now. So, someone come here! What? That was Hina. She's supposed to be checking. The third floor! There was no time to think. I was running for the stairs before I knew what was happening. I flew up the stairs leading to the third floor. Right away I saw her standing there in the hallway. Makoto! Hina, what's wrong? It's it's awful. The break room door was open. When I looked inside, I I saw I saw. What did you see? I better get the others right. I'm gonna go get them. You go on ahead, Makoto. Before I could say anything, she was rushing downstairs. The break room. What did she see in there? By this point, I was starting to. I was used to acting without thinking. So without thinking, I leapt into the rec room. First thing I saw when I got in there in the rec room was 